So, you have a song or a riff that you want to record. Cool! How do you do this? Let's talk through some DIY ways. Things you would need to record at home. Microphones. Now, if you are recording as a band, then the more mics the merrier. But if it's just a solo project, then one will do. Good mics to use are the SM58 or just a large condenser mic. Interface. This is a piece of equipment that acts as a middleman between your instrument and the computer. Think of it as a translator. It's a device that translates the audio language of your instrument or mic to the digital language of the computer. A door or a digital audio workstation. This is the software on your computer that you record your call song into and examples of this are Logic, GarageBand, Ableton, Audacity, Pro Tools, there are heaps, the list goes on. Leads. Mic leads, these are also called XLR cables, and instrument leads are also called quarter inch cables. And don't forget, headphones. Okay, so we've got all our stuff, great. Here are some things to consider as you start recording. Do you want to record to a click? Well, a click track helps keep you in time. All doors will have a click, and you can change how fast or how slow it goes. This would need to be practiced before you start recording. Well, what instruments do you want to start with? A good suggestion is to start with the instrument that you wrote the song on, whether this be piano or guitar. Another good place to start is with the beat or a drum track. Do you want to record your whole band live? If you do want to record your band live, then you would need to think about where you're going to put the microphones. This will depend on how many mics you have. Try and think about what sounds you want to pick up in the room and where you would best going to pick these up. Try and angle the mics so that they pick up the most sound. Remember to trust yourself and what you think sounds good. When you finish your song, bounce it. This just means exporting it so that you can send it to people. And there are a few different formats to do this in. WAV file, MP3, FLAC, ALAC, AIFF, AAC, DSD. Excuse me, why is there so many? Very confusing. Well, a good rule is, if you're just sending it to your friends, then an MP3 is fine. But if you want to send it to radio stations or as part of a press release, then a WAV or a FLAC file are going to be better. Bandcamp also uses WAV, FLAC and AIFF. Remember to have fun. It's so awesome to be able to record your own music. And if it doesn't sound how you like the first time, you can always have another go.